What's going on guys, we're going to get back a brand new video and today we'll be reviewing four of the F1 2015 cars, that's the Toro Rosso, the Sauber, the Ferrari and the Mercedes. The images of these four cars, or some of them were actually properly launched, have been revealed in the last three days and I thought I'd round them up in this one video. I've been doing separate ones for each, I just sort of uh, clump them all into this one video. You can leave your thoughts on the uh, F1 2015 cars we've seen so far. Which one's your favourite? Please let me know down in the description below and um, I'll be discussing which uh, one I like at the end of this video so far. So then, first of all, today we had the uh, Toro Rosso launch, and it does look pretty nice to be honest. I really do like the livery. It's kind of the classic Toro Rosso livery, but there's a few more elements of red and gold which have been added to the livery, just giving it a bit more life, and it looks very, very full. I mean, there's not much space, but it isn't filled with sponsorship or the Red Bull logo or, you know, the picture of the bull. So it's really nice to see a really, really full car, and uh, the shape of the car looks pretty nice as well. The uh, front wing... I do like, I think the front nose looks pretty cool as well, um, you know, a few people don't like it, but I think on the whole it's kind of one of those, but uh, will just kind of be an average kind of car in the very people, you don't really mind it to be honest, I think it'll be a good addition of course, driven by Carlos Sainz Jr and Max Verstappen, and of course the youngest driver pairing on the grid and the two youngest drivers on the uh, Formula 1 grid separately as well. So it's going to be very hard for them, uh, you know, of course, to uh, compete in Formula 1 next year, but they're going to give it their best shot, and definitely I would be expecting uh, points finishes from both of them regularly throughout the season. Their target has to be to beat either Sauber or Lotus, so whoever is going to be at the back, I think it would be good for them just to try and beat as many drivers as possible and just put in those performances, you know, just to, you know, put themselves on the Red Bull radar just in case, you know, Danny Fiat isn't doing too well. Uh, possibly just give uh, Christian Horn and the team just something to think about. Um, you know, that's something you've got to do their job for this year, just getting used to Formula 1 and just giving Red Bull a little something to uh, think about. Let's next move on to the Ferrari. It looks, I suppose, pretty similar to the Toro Rosso in terms of the front nose. And with the uh, Toro Rosso, of course, just like the uh, Ferrari, both of them, of course, have their typical livery. You know, Toro Rosso have their kind of Red Bull style one. Ferrari, of course, always red and now a bit more black as well. Um, usually that black seems to disappear throughout the season. I don't know if they have that for sponsorship purposes, but sometimes that does get a bit filled up with some sponsors. But, uh, Ferrari looking really, really nice as always, of course, will be driven by Kimi Raikkonen, Sebastian Vettel and, of course, Esteban Gutierrez and John Ferner, the two test and reserve drivers. But yeah, a bit more black than usual. I think it looks nice, to be honest. Uh, Ferrari cars always do, to be honest. Uh, nothing really too much to say. Very interesting front nose. Um, possibly not the best nose, I don't think, on the grid. And what we're going to come on to next, which is the Sauber, doesn't have the best nose either. Probably the worst on the grid, to be honest. It's either that or the Williams. I really don't like the nose for those cars. Um, there is a comparison as well, of course, between the livery 2014 and 2015. There's a massive change with Sauber. It's great to see someone actually completely, you know, taking the uh, plunge and completely changing the livery. Of course, we saw Force India um, slightly changing the livery, of course, going with the silver, swapping that for the um, kind of orange and green. That's no longer really prevalent on the uh, the Force India. There's a bit of orange, but not as much as I'd like to see. But that's a topic for another video. Let's talk about the Sauber then. Um, mixed opinions on this. I really, really, really like it with the blue and the yellow. It's pretty much better though, to be fair. There's only four sponsors, or I can, I can count there. Um, of course, Banco de Brazil being one of the biggest ones. Possibly bringing enough money for, you know, Sauber not to bring in any more sponsors. I don't know, but uh, if you look at last year's car, that only had four sponsors on as well. Um, that NEC, of course, that's gone now. And Claro, that's gone, of course, with... Um, and Telmex as well with Esteban Gutierrez, I believe that they were his two. And then uh, Eric, I can't even read that one, Ceraticon or something, the one at the top anyway, that was there last year as well. So uh, a few new sponsorship deals for uh, Sauber. They'll be hoping that's going to boost them up the grid, but I think the main point for them is just surviving and trying to score points and just trying to do a lot better than they did do last year. I think a fresh start, as Malisha Kaltermann said, it would be you know a fantastic starting point for 2015. Everything's new. New livery and two new drivers, of course, raring to go. Marcus Ericsson has a point to prove. Don't count him out yet. You know, people, um, he's probably the most underrated driver on the grid. He could be the surprise of 2015. I'm saying that now. Putting my neck on the line, I think Ericsson's going to be really good next year. He's got a year of experience at Caterham. He showed flashes of pace. And if you can do that again, then there's no reason why he can't be one of the surprise packages of 2015. 
He'll be, of course, partnered by Felipe Nazar, of course, um, bringing in Banco de Brazil, much probably to the reason why they changed the livery. I didn't like the grey, to be honest, from the last two years. This is really nice. It's kind of a throwback to their kind of original livery with the uh, Red Bull sponsorship. But again, it's kind of a new one. I do really like it. This was definitely one of my favourite ones, and I was really excited to see if Sauber were going to change it. The two people who wanted to change the liveries were Sauber and McLaren, and Sauber have achieved it, but sadly for me, McLaren haven't. But uh, Anyway, let's move on to the uh, final team, and let's talk about them. That is uh, the Mercedes car. A very interesting take on their front wing. You can see a few images of it here. It looks really, really strange. It's really, really thin at the uh, front. It's quite similar to last year, I suppose, but it does get a bit thinner at the front. Um, the first part, apart from the kind of last bit, looks pretty similar. Very detailed front wing, as, as you would expect from uh, the world champions, of course. They did leak some images, of course, when they were testing in the rain, so I suppose... Uh, um, maybe the car's slightly different, maybe set up for the wet, so um, it's not exactly how it'll look, but uh, you know, pretty much the same for Mercedes in terms of the livery, a bit more black, um, the Patronus is kind of being pushed forward a bit, um, it was a bit more over, taking up more of the side pod I think last year, but uh, it looks nice overall Mercedes, um, split opinions on it, probably not as nice as last year, for me last year it was probably the nicest looking car and livery combination it was really really great to see them under the lights in bahrain that's one thing how to test how you know how nice the car is take them to singapore or bahrain then under the lights the f1 cars look really really nice um i think the mercedes is probably one of those cars that's just going to kind of grow on me you got to get used to it to be fair because we are going to be seeing that a lot at the front but uh no really like the mercedes i uh, really like the sauber the ferrari's okay um the front nose possibly not the best Taurus, I, really, I do really like Taurus as well, so um, it's overall out of these old four cars, they're all pretty good to be fair, um, probably better from what we've seen from other cars, but uh, the Sauber as well, the car is just, <laughs> that front nose is just really, really weird, it's uh, not the best at all, probably worse than a few we had last year, but um, certainly I think overall the cars uh, have improved over the last year. But I don't think the liveries have, if I'm going to be honest. I think a lot of them have changed to the worst. Force India, in my opinion, has got worse. McLaren hasn't got... It should have improved, to be honest, but it hasn't got that much better. They should have just gone with a retro livery. You know, so many people I've seen have complained about that. And, you know, I suppose at the end of the day, it's not about how the livery looks. It's how fast the uh, car is. But still, we do like to see, you know, how nice the liveries do look. So, uh, We've had that one as well, of course. Uh, the Lotus as well. I wish there was a bit more red. It's kind of too bland, I think, in my opinion. A lot of grey and black cars a lot of people have been complaining about. So really, you know, this uh, Salba is a breath, uh, a breath of uh, fresh air. So which one was my favourite then overall? Um, it's tough to say. There's no clear favourite for me. You can let, you let me know uh, yours in the description below. Uh, sorry, in the comment section below. Um, I got to say, of course, we're still yet to see the Red Bull. Um, obviously, that will probably just be the same as always. But I wonder what they'll do with the front wing. You know, we'll just have to see. Will it be similar to Torosa? Possibly. Although, of course, if you look last year, you know, the two wings were nothing alike, so you can't read too much into that. But uh, we'll have to see. Uh, favorite livery, I've got to go with the sound, but it's just so cool. It's just so different. I know loads of people don't like it, and that's perfectly fine. You're all going to have different opinions, and that's fine. You know, some people really might like the... Uh, Lotus this year. Some people might, you know, really like the McLaren Honda, and that's, you know, that's perfectly fine. But uh, I think I'll go in terms of the livery, the Sauber. Certainly not in terms of the car. I think it's, you know, dreadful. Um, in terms of the car, though, which ones looks, which one looks nicest? Uh, I want to say Toros though, but I've seen it from different angles. Doesn't look that good. Mercedes. There's no clear winner for me. Um, I think I'll just have to go with the Lotus. I think that looks pretty nice in my opinion. Or the McLaren Honda. I think that's got a nice shape as well. But uh, anyway, I've talked on then long enough about these uh, four F1 2015 cars. You can let me know which one is your favourite. Of course, the first day of testing starts tomorrow. Be sure to subscribe for daily updates on the testing. I'll be doing a review of each day of testing from Jerez and Barcelona over the next month or so so uh, yeah be sure to subscribe then certainly at 300 just like to thank you for the amazing support on these uh, car launch videos and hopefully that can continue into this one and the ones in the future so uh i was bracing and i was going to see you guys next time goodbye